Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Marvelous Beats, violinist and composer. So today, I'm going to show you how to track out your records properly from FL Studio so you don't get your engineer really angry with you. As usual, use the index to your left to scroll through to whatever it is you're trying to see real quick. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright y'all, so here we are in FL Studio. This is an unreleased record I produced called Last Stand. I'm gonna let y'all hear it real quick and we're gonna get into it. Alright, basically so the instruments that I have here, it's like an English horn, a few synths, some strings, claps, bass, reverse cymbals, a few crashes, kicks, and a few snares. So again, what I'm going to show you is how to properly get each instrument into its own mixer channel. And I'll show you how to keep it organized and export it, put it into a zip file, and send it to your engineer in a way that, you know, they won't call you back saying, you know, what are you doing? Everything's out of sync. Everything's not the same time, you know, so on and so forth. All right, so first thing you got to do is link here are the instruments you want to link the instrument into its own track and this is how you do it so I'll take this first uh, this first instrument here is the English horn this is the selector here these little lights here you want to make sure the selector is on the instrument that you want to, that you want to connect uh, as you can see in my mixer I already connected everything but usually you'll, it'll say it'll look more like this where you have just you know blank tracks. So what you do is you go on to the track like this, you right click on it, and you say it's link selected channel to this track. So that's the selected channel, you're going to link it. Once you do that, it'll automatically say the name, whatever name you have here, it'll jump in there, and also the color will jump in there, and then the instrument's in there. You can rename it and recolor it by right clicking on it, rename, recolor, just type it in, English horn, you can even change the color to whatever you want. So then that's it. Then you go through each one. So then I will go to the next way. I have this. Uh, I forgot exactly what this is. Okay, it's like a really deep electric bass. So I do the same thing. Have the selector on. Go up in here. Right click. Link selected to this channel. You go right down the line with each instrument until it's all linked in there. Okay. So after that's done, literally all you have to do. Just go to file, export, you want to go to WAV file. Now, you're going to make a new folder. I already made the folder here because I already exported this track. And you're going to put your beat name, put your producer name, say track files. Then, once you do that, you go into the folder. After you make the new folder, you go into it. Obviously, in your case, it'll be all blank. What you do here is you just write the track name. After you do that, you just that's all you do. I, I like to put an underscore it's just to separate the track name from the actual like instrument name. Because what FLC is gonna do automatically when you export the stems is it's gonna name each track after whatever you named it in the mixer, as you see here when I did it. Hold up, my bad. Boom. So you see I wrote last stand and all of this was automatically written in there. So that's what you do. You you type in the name. You know, leave it there, you hit save. I'm gonna do it again just so you can see it. Make a brand new folder, last stand, marvelous beats, track file, ah, tutorial. Boom. Go in there, type in last stand. I like to put an underscore, hit save. Now, at this window, obviously, you wanna make sure it's a WAV file. You choose WAV file over MP3 because it's a higher quality file. It's not compressed. You also, at the very least, you want to do 24 bit. That's what you want to give to your engineer. That's like, you know, that's that's about the best quality that you can give them. 16 bits more like when the track is finished, mastered, and ready to be put on a CD. Um, sometimes I even go up to 32 because that's like, you know, ultimate quality. Nothing's lost. Um, and then for the bit rate, you want to throw that all the way up to the highest, 450 kilobits per second. Then this is important. This is really important. You click split mixer tracks, so that's gonna take each track that you 
put into your mixer and renames, it's gonna split those up into individual files. So you hit that. Uh, oh, you see here how I have the total time on 25 and it's in pattern, it's in pattern mode. I wanna cancel that. You wanna make sure it's in song mode so that it's exporting the song and not the, the loop pattern. So we're gonna click song, we're gonna go back to that again, export, wave file, select the folder, write the beat name, click save, make sure it's on wave. See now it's on song mode, got the full length. Every track that I that I bounce, even though for example, you can see here on for example this track, the uh the deep the deep um, I think those are horns right here. You see how there's there's no horns here? And there's no horns after or before it. It's gonna all come out at four minutes and sixteen seconds. And that's really important for each track because when your engineer gets the tracks, he doesn't know when exactly you know the strings come in and the deep bass come in. So it's easier when everything is just the same length, and he could throw it into his program, whatever it is, Pro Tools Studio One, and everything is lined up. You know, lined up. It's not like he has to guess and shift stuff over. So that's why it's important you do it like this and have everything at the same exact time. So again, 32-bit float, keep the bit rate real high, just keep the quality up there. Usually for the resampling, I keep it at the highest too. You just want to give them the highest quality um, stems so they can do, do work their magic on it. And then that's it. You click start, and you just want to wait. Boom, that's done. So now, all you got to do is you go to the folder now. Let's look inside. Let me, um, there you go. So that's everything we just did. So I wrote the last in and see how it named everything for me. That's a beautiful thing. So now, all you do is you right click and you go to send to compress zip folder and the computer now is going to make that a zip file for you I'm a PC guy so if you have a Mac um, I'm sure there's a way you can just, you know make uh, compressed zip files in a folder uh, if you don't know just google it I'm sure you'll find it so we'll give this a second okay so while that's finishing up basically you're going to get the zip file and what you do with that zip file is you upload that zip file to a file sharing website like Dropbox, uh, WeTransfer, Mediafire, um, Google Drive, OneDrive, any of those things like that. And then you take that link and you send that link to the engineer and say, hey, here's the link to the zip file of the track. And then they'll download it, do what they got to do. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much about it. So. If you have any more questions, um, you know, if you need any more intricate like details, um, you know, just you can email me. Uh, leave it in the comments. Definitely like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you know, share this share this video with producers, um, you know, who want to know how to track out their track out their their records because uh, you know I work with a lot of producers myself, even artists. This is great for artists who record their own stuff and they want to send it to the engineer. Um, this, the technique I showed you in FL Studio, you can do this in anything else. Pro Tools, GarageBand, Logic, it's the same thing. You just make sure all your tracks, if you, all you, what you do is you uh, solo each track. You solo each track, you bounce it down, just make sure that the time is all the same for each one. So if your track is four minutes long, make sure each stem you export is four minutes long. <laughs> and you just solo each track, export it into WAV files, into one folder, compress the folder, and upload it. So again, this is Marvelous Beats, Violence, violence and Composer. Ooh, a little speech, speech uh, pediment there. Um, yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.